Oh, look at this fantastic piece with horses. I don't know that I've ever seen that style of Mickey Mouse. Well, that is quite a chair. My goodness. I found another really cool piece of art pottery. Let's see how much this little baby is. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, it is New Year's Eve day. It is the last day of 2023, and I don't know about you, I am so glad to see 2023 go. <laughs> like it is, it's been a year. And I spent today finishing up, emptying, I had three storage units. They're all empty now. My storage is empty. I'm starting this year off on a new leaf. No more storing stuff. Anyway, we'll get into that later. I'll tell you more about that plan. But the Charleston Antique Mall is having their year-end blowout sale. I don't know exactly what that means, but I know for the most part it means at least 15% off in most spaces and there could be dealers doing a little bit more than that. So my goal is to get in there and find some really good glass, pottery, antiques, and maybe find another piece of art to put on my new gallery bird wall. Yes, I'll show you a picture of that further in the video as well. Uh, I, I did it. I got that plan going and then I realized I did not have enough bird art. So uh, I'm on a quest for that personally and then for resale items that are higher end. So let's get in here. Let's get shop done. The Charleston Antique Mall is located on uh, Decatur. Actually, it was just down the street from the Good Stuff Thrift Store. Uh, 560. Looks like 560. But let's go in here and see what we can find. So every booth has their own discount going. This one's 30%. Ooh, that's really cute. Look at that. I like that a lot. They have a line that is already all the way around the uh, outside aisle of the store. So we're going to take our time shopping and also make sure we're buying things that are worth standing in line for. I see something. That is Viking Epic Stockholm Blue Bowl. Now, I don't think that's the blue neek. I can never remember if the blue neek is the lighter or the darker of the Viking blues. I get confused because I like them both. It doesn't really matter to me. I like them both. Uh, so 30% off of that would be 60, 50, 40, be 48. Yeah, no, it'd be a little bit more. It would be $18 off. I can do math. I, 38, it would be $38. That's a really good price for that. I don't know. I might consider that one little Halloween stuff. My strategy may be, you know, to really do a, a once over going around and then come back to those things that, you know, I was on the fence about. You know, I like these guys, but I really, I don't, I don't need any more bird salt bit shakers. I don't need them. Okay. The space is 20% off. I do like shipping the littles. Definitely like shipping the littles these days. And jewelry. You know, we love jewelry shopping. Let's see what we can find. Pretty little uh, tennis bracelet, rhinestones. Hmm. Lots of sewing stuff. Just a little bit of everything in this booth. another 20% off booth. See some milk glass. I've had a lot of requests for milk glass lately, so I am on the hunt for unusual, well-priced pieces, but generally not going to be able to buy something at an antique mall at the price that I can resell it at, so I do look for it at the thrift stores. 
and I will pick it up when I find it. Found another 30% off booth and my eye has gone to this little green vase in here. Let's pull that out and see who done it. Oh, it's not marked. It almost looks like a Royal Copley base, doesn't it? It's got a little glaze chip right there. Hmm, they don't have it identified on the tag either. So let's see. Uh, that is through. It's like four. It's like fourteen dollars for that. You know, I think if it didn't have the chip, I would go for that. But at the fact that with the chip, and I don't exactly know who done it. It could only be like a twenty to twenty-five dollar vase, so I'm gonna leave that one. I did find this Orient and Flume art glass bird. They have it for fifty-three dollars. You can see it's marked right there. Fifty-three minus thirty percent, so that's seven times five is thirty-five. I think that's a good price. I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up because. If it's not a good enough price for, for me to have a resale profit, I collect birds and, you know, I can upscale my bird collection. Oh, look at this fantastic piece with horses. The Pinto signed on the bottom. Let's see what that says. 68. Vincenzo Pinto. I'm going to look that up real quick. Sometimes a quick search doesn't really do the job, but again, my decision making comes down to, would I keep this piece in my own collection? I would, and I think the price is right with a 30% off, because that's gonna bring it down to about 40. I'm gonna go for it. I'm also seeing some beautiful and poly Amberina, $18. Now it says as is, let me find the as is on this. Oh, it's a globe, like for uh, a lamp. Looks like, oh, is that? Nope, that's the tape. I literally cannot find the as is on this piece. And it's really, really stunning. I wonder if it's because it's had a hole drilled in it that they're thinking that that's as is. I'm just thinking that's a, that's a lamp in the making. So for 18 minus 30%, I'm grabbing that. Okay, this is one of my very most favorite booths in this entire mall because they always have the most amazing mid-century items, especially glass. So let's see if we can find a little treasure to take home today. Oh, that's a cool shape to that, isn't that? Wow, like it, like it. Are those Culver? Let's see, I don't see the name on them Let's see if they've identified it nope just says bar set $90 for the whole thing oh those are really neat who makes those let's see uh Lang Lange Lange standby can't quite tell what that says $250 for that one though. I really do like this little uh, Van Briggle creamer. I have a very similar one, about the same size too, because you know, that's all I can afford to add to my collection right now is little pieces. It's tempting, but I don't think I'm gonna grab it right now. And then I looked up and saw this beautiful, they're calling it peacock spotted pottery vase. Let's get that down. It's almost like a hobbyist piece. I'm thinking 28 minus 20%. So that would be like five bucks off. It'd be like $23. It's kind of gorgeous. It's more green than I like. I do like the blues on there. It's almost like a crystalline glaze is what I'm thinking. I think, I think I could probably double. I could probably double my money on this piece. You know what? Let's go ahead and put it in the pile. Look at this little tree here with a little nest in it. Oh, it is a it is a Jure. 1970 tree with nest egg 265. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty awesome right there. This is a really interesting piece of Stangle pottery 
they're trying to look like Batosi. Like if you watch Laura Caldwell, you'll see that she just did a thing where there was a whole bunch of this Batosi in this exact color scheme and almost the same pattern. But this is Stangle. And, and one of Stangle's signature things is their glossy red interiors. So that's one of the reasons we know it's Stangle. I'm not going to lift it up one-handed because it's really heavy, but it'll say Stangle on the bottom as well. I have a version of this cookie jar. It doesn't have quite as much green in it, but uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. This is another 20% off booth. Oh my, it's like a turtle dragon. He's a, he's literally like a turtle dragon. Well, that's pretty interesting. Oh, this is just like, this is a lot. This is a lot of jewelry that I don't really have time to sit here and go through. That's the thing with jewelry is like, you need the time to put into it to really look at everything. Like, I will tell you, I'm a little bit drawn to those Lucite earrings right there. But I just, yeah, we're going to pass on this today. This dealer is 20% off. So it's worth an, a, a look around. I do like the tea towels. Those are kind of nice. But I'm keeping a little bit of a mindful thought on my budget. I don't want to go too crazy and I've already got several high-end pieces up at the counter. Ooh, this dealer is 40% off and right away this Fenton vase caught my eye. I'm not sure how hard it would be to get somebody to go in and open this case, but let's see, that would be $24 for that. Oh, I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards it. Oh, is that a whale or a dolphin? It almost looks like it's trying to be a whale, huh? All right, let's see if we can find an item in this booth. Not sure we're gonna find anything this time. This actually caught my eye. I like the smaller little accent pieces of pottery and it's got a neat design, which is like a glaze design, it's only $10, which is going to make it only $6. For $6, I'll give this little guy a shot. Let's see if we can find maybe one more thing in here. I don't think so. We've got another 30% off booth here. Little mix of some old and some new and some in between. Oh, that's a really pretty painting. Really, really pretty. Mm. I'm particularly looking for glass, pottery, and bird art. I know, that's kind of a weird little mix for the day. I love how every single booth is very clearly marked as to its discount makes it easy to pick the booths you want to go to first, that's for sure. Look at that cute little handmade crocheted purse. Boy, that really has 60 vibes. Okay, he's coming with me. Oh my goodness, look at these lips. I'm trying to look, are they, I can't, it says Haziza. I can't tell if they're glass or lucite, but it's $1,200. This booth is 25%. Now this is not a high-end piece of glass. It's just really super pretty, the multicolored feathers, but see how there's bubbles and things. That's what happens when you're quickly manufacturing the glass, you know, and not precision manufacturing the glass. It's pretty, but it is about a $25 piece. <laughs> is this supposed to be like an old Mickey Mouse? Is it? It might be. Japan Mickey. 
Yeah, $79.99. I don't know that I've ever seen that style of Mickey Mouse. Very interesting. I have been picking up some single candle holders and this one, this one just has a really nice style and coloring to it and it is only $5.99 and then another 25% off. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm also looking for like some accent pieces. This one doesn't quite appeal to me, but you'll see, I'll, sh I'll sh I'm gonna show you. I'm just, just hang in there. I'm gonna show you my new gallery bird wall and you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, this guy's really cool looking. Oh, I think he's, he's almost like that 3D print. Like he's not resin, he's not ceramic or pottery. Very interesting. Well, that is quite a chair. My goodness. Great price on it too for $58. Lots of mid-century in this booth too. Look at this. Look at this sculpture. Wow. That's pretty darn cool right there. It's acrylic. Don Bowman. Korok. Yes, there it is. They use all these different materials inlaid on here. And then you, I always had fun like trying to figure out what did they use? Not quite sure on this one. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. These little earrings here. It's kind of cool. I have so much jewelry to deal with right now. I don't dare buy any more. Oh, there's a lot of glass stuffed up there. There's a lot of stuff stuffed in this booth. We might have to look around in here just a little bit. Do I need another one? These are smaller than the ones I have. Look at these fun coasters. They are either acrylic or lucite and they've got sprinkles. How fun are those? Wow. Okay, now that is just a gorgeous menorah with the glass lattice, fused glass background, and then you got the little candles there, $148. Oh, is that an owl? See, I don't really do owls. If that was a bird, I'd be all over it. Okay, I wasn't gonna get any jewelry, but I cannot resist this little goat pin. For $9.50, I don't even know what the discount is in this booth, but I gotta have it. It's 20% off. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look, cause there's some really cool, some really cool jewelry in here. Like, this reminds me of some of those earrings I sold. And I cannot remember the, the attribution that Dawn of Hudson Vintage gave it. But 14, 20% off. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but I think that could be a good one. See a little articulated fish. These are really popular. I'm not sure what it is about them, but but is he missing something? Is he supposed to have oops, focus, focus camera. Is he supposed to have little something little dangling under there? I think he probably is. Okay. We're gonna leave him. Okay, I'm kinda loving this little porcelain painted brooch. I don't know the age. I just, I just don't know that much yet. Eleven fifty with twenty percent off seems like a pretty good deal on this piece. I know I can get at least fifteen for it, so I won't go wrong. And I think I could do a little bit better than that, so I'm gonna grab it. Oh my goodness! These big, big glass candies. Those are great. Twelve dollars each. I have bought some mystery bags from this dealer before and gotten some really good stuff. Let's see, how much are they? They are 25 and 25. I feel like I have enough mystery jewelry to deal with right now, but this is always a good place to come to get some more. Now I remember that. Look at these sweet little, I don't know if they're little paintings or drawings. I mean, they're little, they're tiny. Look at them on the shelf here. Like, they're small. Let me see how much they are. 
They're $6 each. I believe I said it was 20% off in here. Oh, goodness. I'm just really drawn to these. I think I must have them. That is a great frog scrub holder, sponge holder. He's 21, though. No birds. Where's the birds? Give me an L. There's just so much amazing stuff at this mall that it's really hard to take it all in in just a short period of time. Oh my goodness. Oh man, oh man, I love him. And I don't have one like that yet. Okay, I might, I might have to uh, get somebody to let me into this case. I'll let you know. Okay, so this booth is 25% off and I just came over here and spotted this beautiful wood carved bird. I'm not sure what kind. Oh, it says it's an owl. I'm not sure I see owl in that. Do you see owl? I mean, I get it. I get his little horn things. I don't know if I see owl in that. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm perplexed because I just thought it was just a bird, but now I'm starting to see owl. What do you see? This is interesting. It's marked as paperweight ashtray crystal, but that paperweight comes out. So I'm not sure if that is supposed to go with that. I mean, I guess that's possible. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Okay. It's priced separately. So the paperweight is nine and the paperweight ashtray is eight fifty. Okay, I see what they're doing. They're just calling this a paperweight act, but it looks like it's supposed to have something in it and it doesn't look like an ashtray. I'm gonna call this more of a candle holder. It's marked France and that's the only mark down here. So I'm not sure about that. It's awful pretty. Let me, uh, let me look at that a little closer. It is kind of nice, but I only see France. You know what? For $8.50 minus What's the discount in here? 25%? I feel like that's a really nice piece of crystal. I'm going to pick it up. Oh, look at these guys. They're very sweet. But we're going to leave them right there. There's some more glass in this spot. That's known as a root beer color on that nice piece. I have sold several of those. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Do you ever come into a place like this and just your brain starts just getting overwhelmed? I think that's why I don't shop antique malls very often because it is really a bit overwhelming to me how many and so many decisions to make because there's so many cool things. Let me know. Let me know your experience down in the comments. I found me another turtle. I actually need some larger sized pieces. I've just rearranged my decor a little bit and I have some spots for a guy like this. I do believe he is McCoy and he has $18 minus 20%. So he's coming home with me. This is a piece of, I think it's called Rubina Verde. It's a super nice color. It's a jack in the pulpit. They're asking 58 and then there's the discount. So I'm, I'm definitely contemplating that one. Oh, look at this little cutie guy. And dare I say, Valentine's is coming. 15. What is their discount here? 25%. He's a, he's got a great look. Look at his little side eye. I don't think I'm going to leave him, but he is kind of adorable. Left in. All right, let's see what else is in this booth. Oh, I do love a beautiful inkwell. This would have had a little, whoop, did not mean to do that. Little glass ink containers in it. Absolutely stunning, $79. That's gorgeous. Oh, those are really, really pretty candlesticks too. Art Nouveau, yes, absolutely. $89 on those. Now, if I could find those like out in the wild for like 20 bucks, man, I'd be a happy, happy girl. All right. I'm in a booth that has all of these Lucite purses. How fabulous are those? 230 
Ooh, that one's 500. That one's been there a while. The uh, tag is almost unreadable. They are spectacular. This was like someone's personal collection. You can just you can just tell. Like this, these pieces are just too absolutely too fabulous to have just been found anywhere. This was collected over time, and you can tell they do have some attachment to them. Rightly so. They're pretty spectacular. This booth is 70% off, which is why there's not much left in it. I love these. They're simple yet awesome. I, I think they could possibly be Blanco. Oh gosh, yes. So that's going to make them only, what, $6? Yeah, we'll take those. I kind of love these too. Brutalist votive pair. Yes, digging those for 28 minus 70. So this 30, I know you go 30% times or 30 times 28. So that let's just round it to 30. So that, that makes them also like $9. Yeah, we're taking those too. So I like this one too. Even though it's a single, I will take that one. What is this little guy? Kokesh Seattle. I love when they have the original tags. It does have a monogrammed M. And that just makes it a little bit harder sell because you have to find, you know, somebody with the letter M. That's some really nice crystal on that one too. Which is that one? 28. It's an Oleg Cassini. Let's see if we can see the... Sometimes it's really hard to see the signatures on these. I don't see it, actually. Hmm. Sometimes you have to identify these things by doing a visual search and finding someone who has one that still has like the label on it so that you can verify the the maker but I believe them this back here is catching my eye it's just a um it's a Holland mold which means somebody painted it it's also cracked so we'll leave that one this looks like Denby oh it is Denby 128 for this whole coffee set now remember it's 70% off so that would only be like 30 bucks but I just I've got a big set I'm dealing with right now so I'm not going to pick this up but that is a great deal let's see what else we've got in here mm, 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 mm. okay I see this looks like amphora let's see what we've got on here 28 which again makes it nine dollars this is amphora this is really nice I'm going to pick that up is this one of the it is it's one of those candlesticks that's also napkin rings it's a singleton but let's get the price and see how much this is it is 12 minus 70 percent so uh yeah we'll definitely take that for like three dollars it's kind of cool elephants are kind of cool the small one is 30 making him like nine dollars oh I feel like I'm gonna get the little one I'm sorry I'm sorry I hate to separate you guys but I can deal with the little one that one a little harder to ship oversized we're gonna get this guy let's look at this bird it's a partridge it is ceramic the price is on the inside I don't want to drop this it almost feels like glass it's so slick let's see 36 boy all of these <laughs> the odd numbers that are uh, I know it's not an odd number don't correct me I mean odd as in it's not like a round number 36 times 39 10 it's still only like 10 bucks for this little partridge I think I'm gonna take him too okay I'm feeling really good about my purchases out of this booth here's an orifers this has got a nice look to it too. All of this has a nice look. I have this one. Now, if I was gonna pick it up, it'd be for resale. And you know what, at $12 minus 70%, I'll pick that one up to sell. And then he's got a goat friend next to him. The goat friend would be like $9. I feel like he's pretty spectacular. And then there's this back here. It almost looks like a recycled glass. You know what, I, I like it. I like it for the price. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna get that and I'm also gonna get this Dansk ice candle oh no I'm not it's got some pretty major chipping on it okay no we're not gonna get that one we're gonna leave that one behind 
Boy, I'd like to find another 70% off sale. That was pretty nice. That is Hager, it looks like, 1980s. $65, not a bad price. And then this booth, I believe, is, yep, 30% off. Yeah. Mostly jewelry, but we'll look for other treasures as well. Oh, there's a little bit of glass in here. $140. It's got Blanco question mark. Mm, I'm not sure because it's got an optic to it. And I don't know that Blanco really did a lot of optic. I'd have to like do a little research on that. It's a cool piece though. As is this one here. Kind of this folded uh, handkerchief vase. There is no price tag. Oh yeah. There it is. It's just tucked on the inside. Let's see how much that one is. That one is 50 minus, what did I say? 30%. So that would be $15 off, making it $35. I think that's a little more than I can pay unless I was buying it for my personal collection, which I would love to, but I'm not going to. I love this Amberina hand. I don't think the hand is for sale. I don't know. I could be wrong. I think they're just using it as display because it doesn't have a price tag, but wow, that's really, oh wait, it does, wait, <gasps> nope, not for sale. I don't blame them. All right, I'm in a new booth. Actually, I feel like I've been in this booth. Oh yeah, this one's 20% off. Hi, this dealer. Let's see how much this little baby is. 75, it's Viking, yep. Oh, and look at the purple one, 82. Yeah, even at 20% off, that's a little more than we can do for resale. And I'm not adding to my personal collection right now. I look down here and there's this whole little box of these little bird pins that have real feathers. You know, they're, they're vintage, made in Taiwan. They're $4 and 20% off, so they'd be like $3.20. <sighs> I think I'm going to get every last one of them because I think those are pretty spectacular. Oh, here's a set of two for 12. Yeah, we're going to get all of those. I also noticed this paperweight. Now that is a cool paperweight. $18 with 20% off? Uh, yes, please. And these little guys caught my eye mostly because of their color. They're wood. They're painted wood. They remind me of the same kind of technique as the dollar horses. $4 and $6. I'm going to pick those up. Oh, what is this guy? Look at the fabulous frogs. Oh, they've got the Royal Copley kind of bottom look. Pretty good condition, $20. But they would be $16. Gosh, I really like them. I just, I don't know that they're worth much more than like 25 to 30. So we're going to leave those. All right. No dogs allowed in this booth. That's okay. Peanut is not really a shopper, nor is Ozzy. They're, not, they're homebodies. They do not like to go out and about, or I would take them out and about. I have a goal. I have a goal of growing a snail to this size in one of my aquariums, because this is an actual, for real, snail shell, marine snail shell. And I have, that's turbo snail. And I have several turbo snails but they're nowhere near this size. But that would be so cool to grow one up to that size. I spotted this really pretty piece of pottery. It has the kind of that technique that Namaji uses. It's like a reverse drip, like they did it this way to get the drip. And then it's got this very textured, rustic, finish to it. I like it. I don't know who makes this one, but at $14 with a 30% discount, we're going to find out. I'm coming back over to this corner that was really, really crowded over here when I first came in. So I'm kind of retracing my steps a little bit, but it's not things that I filmed because there was just too many people over here. This paperweight is catching my eye. 30% off of 20. So that's going to make that $14. And it's gorgeous. And I think I'm going to pick that one up. And I might pick that one up too. I'm going to look around, see what else is in this little space. 
It's quite a variety of very interesting things, including glowy glass. Hmm. We'll check prices on some of that. the announcement they are getting ready to close so I'm going to have to wrap it up here pretty quick see just no time to go through all the jewelry but I think I heard that they're open tomorrow I don't know if I can get here tomorrow but I may try to work that into my schedule because I'd like to come back and just search all the littles in the cases I feel like that might be fun Oh, look at the tinsel tree. That's so fun. Let's see. Oh, those guys are cool. All right, I found one more paperweight here for 16. It's 30% off? Uh -huh. Yep, 30% off. We'll take that one too. Another 30% off. And I know this dealer has a lot of amazing glass. 37. Is that just for one though, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not for the pair. Yeah, they're separate. Aren't they gorgeous though? <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I think these are Polish, Polish glass. That is a really sweet, dainty chandelier. Just really nice. Well, I did not find my bird art. Didn't see a single thing with a bird. I found another really cool piece of art pottery. $7.95. This dealer is 30% off. It is signed right there. We'll take it. Then I'm gonna look at some of these other gorgeous pieces. Man, that's only $15. Oh my gosh, that is really nice. And it is also signed. I don't think I can leave without that one either. I'm gonna look at these pottery mugs that kind of go with it. This is a pair of left hand thrown pottery what is that called? Mul oh, just multicolored. There's a, like, is this like the hand warmer mug? I mean, that's, I see where it's left-handed though, right? You couldn't really, if you do that, it's just a thumb warmer if you're right-handed. So you really have to drink it with your left hand to get the full effect of that. I don't know, those are pretty nice. So it's $18 for the pair minus 30%. That brings them down to, gosh, math in my head 12 12 for the pair i feel like that's a really good price i'm gonna grab those two i'm gonna look at the rest of this nice little blue pottery like this creamer and sugar i'm a little bit enamored with 1970s hand thrown pottery 14.95 oh it's marked on the bottom with something we could maybe even make out oh what does it say oh wait indigenous potteries bar Barbados. That's kind of cool. Uh, 15 minus 30 brings it close to $10 for that set. I think I'm going to get it. And while I'm here, I'm going to look at this really nice throw. I love hand thrown pottery. I just love it. This is only going to be $7. $7. Wait, is that what's going on there? It's got a little something going on right there. Mm, okay, that's gonna, see, I just have to justify leaving it. Otherwise I'd get them all. Oh no, is this more of those? <gasps> There's more, there's more of these. Well, I can't get those and not get these. So I'm gonna get these for the same price. That's a cool piece of redware. Who makes you? There is a signature on the back. It's, oof, 
What does that say? Pepperberry Cottage. Pepperberry Cottage. Very nice. Oh, I'm taking a quick jaunt through looking in the cases here in the middle. See what treasures they behold. Lots of little stuff and jewelry, of course. Oh, that's another nice paperweight. How much is that one? We can't see the price on it. I think I have enough paperweights for right now. how cool he is painted on burlap Jose Maria de Servin that's cool I found this really cool little uh, Lucite 90s Vegas souvenir $10 30% off that would be seven and then I'm also looking at the little uh, see 1970s pennies in there 1973 they're all 1973 but it's a little hour, well, not hour, Apologies. minute. We will be closing at 5 p.m. today for the New Year's holiday. That one's 15. Please bring your items up to the front and we'll be happy to assist you. We are open tomorrow for our blow-up sale from 10 to 6. Thank you and have a good night. I think I'm going to get both of those. All right, I need to take my last purchases up to the front because they want to close. They're already working on getting all the tags off of the items that I purchased. I don't even want to know what my bill is. It's always, it's always a shopping adventure when I come here. That is for sure. But uh, we're going to go check out. Stay tuned for a recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. And after that, I'm going to show you my bird wall that I've been working on. That's coming up right now.
it's my complete bird wall. Well, it, not complete, but the, the whole wall that this side still needs some art. And then there's some little spaces for some little pieces there. So still a work in progress, but this is what we're working on.